Hello children, my name is Sanjay. Welcome to our channel. It's show time. Today we are discussing about chemical bonding. Before we start our class, please subscribe my channel to watch more videos. In our chemical bonding, so these are the topics. What are the topics we are covering in our chapter? introduction Levy symbol or Levy's dot structure electron theory of valence by Levy's and Cosell octet rule ionic bond covalent bond valence bond theory Vesper theory and hybridization let me begin with the, our chapter from introduction so we studied in our previous chapter classification of the elements so there we observe 118 elements are present in our periodic table and in our ninth standard we discussed uh, about atomicity that means the number of atoms are required to forming as a molecule let me take some examples like hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen and those are diatomic molecules that means two atoms are combined together for hydrogen as H2 gas and for oxygen O2 gas and nitrogen for N2 gas. Why hydrogen is combined with uh, only two atoms and forming as an hydrogen gas and at the same time why oxygen only combining with uh, two atoms of oxygen and forming as an oxygen gas and we can also observe that uh, there are some elements in our periodic table they can exist as elements itself only they will not participate in any chemical reaction the reason and also we have to observe we observed already that means some of the elements can react vigorously and forming as a chemical bonding and some of the elements can react very slow and there are some elements exist in our periodic table they never participate in any chemical bonding now let me see what what type of bond will be present between the two atoms let me take one common example which we are using in our daily life sodium chloride do you know where we are using a sodium chloride it's we are using as a common salt and what is the state of the sodium chloride it is obviously it is a solid state so I will be taking the sodium chloride and placing in one small container or a box if I shake it can I able to separate uh, sodium and chlorine from the sodium chloride is it possible no it never be possible that means sodium and chlorine cannot be separated by the physical process that means these elements are not combined by the physical actions they are combined by the chemical process that means elements are combined by the chemical process not by the physical process that is the reason our chapter name is a chemical bonding that means we are combining an atoms by the chemical process so if we want to separate uh, an elements from a molecule or from a compound we have to go for the chemical process that means if we want to separate uh, sodium and chlorine it can be possible only by the chemical process now let me see what is the force responsible to form a chemical bond between an atoms let me begin let me see in early 19th century there are only three forces will be exist in our nature one is the gravitational force and the second one magnetic force and the third one electrostatic force now it is obviously that uh, electrostatic force is responsible for the combining of uh, any two atoms now let me see how electrostatic is responsible for the chemical bonding now let me see i drawn here the two diagrams which represents about a 
two different atoms here we can observe so these are the two shells and these dots represents uh, electrons already we know that uh, uh, dots are representing electrons and these are the a simple structure of an atom two different atoms and we know that uh, so in a first cell we can fill only the maximum of uh, two electrons because we have a formula to fill an electrons uh, in any shell will be given by 2n square where n is the number of shells so in first shell we can fill only the two in second shell we can fill eight electrons why because if we substitute n equals to 2 2 into 2 it's 4 and 4 into 2 eight here you can see this is a second atom so these are the two shells in first shell we placed the two electrons in the second shell we can notice that there are seven electrons and in the middle the plus represents about the positive charge that means a nucleus if i bring a uh, two atoms close to each other whether they will be combining or not if they are combined uh, how if they will combine they can forming as a chemical bond if they are not combined uh, what is the force which cannot combine and also we will discuss so now let me see once we brought uh, two atoms close to each other now you see the nucleus of the second atom will try to attract the electrons which are present in the outer motion because positive and negative always uh, attract like your magnet uh, the north pole and south pole can attract because opposite poles will be attracting in a same way the nucleus of the second atom will try to attract the electrons present in the outer motion outer motion means uh, the valence electrons okay so the first uh, atom outer motion electrons will be attracted by the nucleus of the second atom in the same way the first atom nucleus will try to attract the electrons which are present in the outer motion of the second atom uh, now let me see there will be a one more problem also once we bring two atoms close to each other electrons electrons can have a chances of repulsion and at the same time positive positive can also be chances to get a repulsion that means if you bring any two atoms electrons electrons repulsion can be possible positive positive nucleus can also be possible that means if we bring two atoms close to each other attraction is possible because of positive negative and negative positive and also repulsion will be possible negative negative and positive positive if attraction is more when compared with the repulsion then a bond will be takes place between the two atoms if repulsion is more when comparing with attraction that means those two elements are cannot be combined chemically so this is the reason we wrote the formula for uh, water as h2o if hydrogen has to combine with oxygen to forming as a water molecule we require two hydrogens it is not possible so this is the reason for the chemical bond uh, between the two atom that means the nucleus of the first atom will try to attract the electrons present in the outer most shell of the second atom and nucleus of the second atom will try to attract the electrons which are present in the outer most shell so once we bring the two atoms close to together a chemical bond will be possible and children we have to remember that a chemical bond if any atom is chemically combined if you want to separate it uh, it can be possible only by the chemical process and also we noticed uh, some of the elements some of the elements they can react vigorously so vigorously means fast reaction for example if we take some metals like sodium if we place in a water it starts reacting very fastly and also we can observe some of the elements can react uh, slowly that means the reactivity all these questions all these questions we are studying in our chapter chemical bonding okay so this is about uh, an introduction so please subscribe my channel to watch the next uh, 
classes in our next classes in your next video you can see about a levy symbol levy's dot structure so please subscribe my channel to enjoy the next upcoming videos thank you